President Zachary Taylor received such little formal education as a child that his handwriting, spelling, and grammar resembled that of someone who was barely literate. Taylor's daughter, Sarah Knox, would marry Jefferson Davis, the President of the Confederacy. Taylor served in the U.S. Army for over 40 years in multiple wars, but Taylor's excellent performance as general in the Mexican-American War secured him massive amounts of popularity at home. This popularity secured him the Whig presidential nomination, though Taylor never asked for it. In fact, Taylor did not find out he was a nominee for president until weeks later. When the Whig Whigs tried to send him a letter in the mail to inform him of his nomination, Taylor refused to pay the postage and thus was unable to open the letter. Taylor's presidency would be cut short while celebrating a hot July 4th. Taylor was enjoying fresh cherries and cold milk when he suddenly fell ill and died soon after. Many thought he was poisoned, a rumor that lasted for decades. Finally, in 1991, his body was exhumed and studied where no evidence of poisoning was found, leading scholars to believe the most likely cause of death was cholera, the same disease that killed his predecessor, James K. Polk. Follow for more interesting stories.